Hi guys and welcome back to my channel now. It was a weird day today. I'd seen something that I hadn't seen for a long time. Care Bears. Now bear with me. This isn't just about the Care Bears or this lovely young lady. I'm sure... Uh, yeah, I'm sure she's all there. But she has a massive collection of teddy bears. And I'm sure there's lots of people out there like this. Or in America, you call them stuffed toys. Or Fine. And here she is. They belong on the shelves and they got them on the bed. And she puts them everywhere. She's very happy with the collection. You can see, you can see. Look at the joy on her face. Or oh, she farting. I can't really tell. <laughs> but where they don't... <laughs> I'm so sorry. But where they don't belong... I mean, I'm sorry to her. Is here in the 2010 Suzuki Alto. Which is the kind of car that is offensive of this thing. Or like this Beetle here. This is their goal. Get as many soft toys and teddy bears as they can on the dashboard. Not in a boot, not here, not where you could put them and they'd be fine and they wouldn't obstruct your view in any way whatsoever. This is solely about putting as many teddy bears as you can on the dashboard. These are the same kind of people who, before they found their love of teddy bears, weren't like, oh, you know, I'll uh, keep them safe in the house or even in the back seats here. These are the same type of people who don't dimmiss the windows before they go driving in winter. They're like, ah, just bugger it. What could possibly go wrong? I'll just get my sleeve and take a little bit of condensation off the window. Happy days. And away I go. So what baffles me with these people is, if they do have an accident, what do they think is going to happen? And by accident, I don't just mean a little bump where they have to fill in the insurance forms and they're going to be like, oh, well, the thing was, I couldn't see past the giant curb air, so I ploughed into a school and killed 16 fucking kids. Not that. The, when they have a massive smash, these teddies aren't going to be like, oh, fantastic, I've saved my fall. They're not going to be all warm and toasty here, like, because she's put the heater controls up. Well, you and I call these heater controls. These are teddy bear warmers to her. You're not going to break her face. Her face is still going to break. The dashboard with the dual airbags is likely to fire a teddy bear at her at 600 miles an hour. She's going to have a teddy bear's nose imprinted in her forehead. Or her passenger's forehead. The last picture of them alive when they go in the paper is going to be a bloody, furry, covered, just absolute cataclysmic amount of flesh, blood, glass and teddy bears. Now that ain't cute. I mean, look at this picture here, Jesus Christ, it, it just, it, it blows my mind. How they think, look at this, that's the last thing she's going to see as she fucking careers into a wall or someone's house. Absolutely baffles me. Are there that many people who still do this? This is something that I used to see quite a lot when I first passed my test some 20 years ago. It was kind of the thing, like people just put as much crap on the dashboard as they could. Dancing, sunflowers, you know, that look like they've been on a weekend on the smack. But I saw this today and I was like, oh my Jesus Christ, I've got to make a horrendous video for you to sit through for at least mm, three and a half minutes. I say, look at all my teddies, I love them so. They're so cute and fluffy, I take them wherever I go. I like to put them in the car all over the dash. I like to drive around and hope I don't crash. <laughs> 